Hospitality is essential to us as people of faith. I, I like to think of hospitality as prevenient grace, that it's God's action before we even know it is there. How we do hospitality here at the church represents what we believe about God. One of the things that seems to be missing here is a director of hospitality, somebody that can organize our volunteers and our hospitality and make everyone who comes in our doors feel welcome. One of our goals for the coming year is to hire a director of hospitality and volunteers that would help us to be more like Christ's hands and feet anytime somebody comes in our door and makes them feel welcome. In our in-home meetings, we ask the question, what are the challenges that we face? The number one answer is, how do we connect with young families? And so we're gonna to try to design teams that help us answer those questions, that lead us toward reaching out and connecting to a new generation so that we can continue to be the church in the future. I wanna ask you to consider being part of two new teams we're gonna start at the church. Both of these teams come out of the ideas and suggestions that were mentioned at our home meetings. The first team is an outreach team. The goal of the outreach team is to let our neighbors know we love and care through our words and our actions and inviting them to be part of the community. It's a little bit different from all the mission work we do. It's making a connection with our neighbors. The second team that we're gonna be starting is called an in-reach team. We're gonna reach into the membership of the church and we're gonna target people between the ages of 20 and 50. Those are the folks who are staying away from the church a little bit more than they have in the past. We wanna look at all the ways we can reach out to them, uh, what their needs are, what's important to them, and how we can connect with them and help them, especially with their young families. If you have a passion for either of those areas, please let me know. We're gonna start forming these teams soon, and we need passionate people who are ready to make that commitment. Here's why I give to the church. I love the idea of us working together to build up the kingdom of God. I put in what I have, you put in what you have. We pull all our resources together. We try to practice generosity the best that we can, and then we see what we can build. And that means building up staff, building up the building itself, building up our ministries and our outreach. We can do all kinds of amazing things together when we work together. And that's the kind of teamwork that I love to be part of. You know, there's all kinds of things that we can do, but it takes money to do that. When we give to the church, we make a difference, not just here in this place, but as we reach out beyond these doors. And so our hope is that uh, we'll be able to continue to be in ministry together, that we'll fully fund all the things that we want to do. So I encourage you to be a, a part of that as we move into 2024.